Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo or Regent Rowland. And how ha and how's life treating you? <laughs> I said that part already. <coughs> mm, still getting over this bad cold. But um I wanted to do some I, I wanted to do some commentary on one of the amp card videos real quick, so uh, without further oh wait, this isn't even on. It's all gonna be camera audio, I guess. But um without further ado, let's get right on down to it, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna press the play button and then just do commentary on the matches. Woo! It's it's uh, gonna be gonna be pretty good. Uh, I, I like it. It's just it's been a long week with the cold and Black Friday and trying to get ready for work. But uh, you know, I just I felt like it, it needed some good commentary, good good talking about what all is going on in the fights. And I can I can use this time to talk about amp guard, about LARPing, about what it means to me. Try to get people interested, give you more information as to what all it is and where all it's, it's about. Because I mean. I share this uh, video on the YouTube channel and to the Grey Watch of the Storm Coast fa Facebook page, but you know through advertising and through people that notice this that are aren't part of the group and everything like that, it w it'll raise awareness, which is why I also post these videos on my Russ Robo YouTube channel because anyone who's into gaming might also be into LARP as well, but you know they wouldn't necessarily go searching for LARP related content on their own. Um, the original idea for the channel, um, the Grey Watch of the Storm Coast channel, was to have like anyone else who posted video content of like say tutorials or battles that I wasn't directly or indirectly involved in would be posted just to the Grey Watch of the Storm Coast YouTube channel by itself and not the Russ Robo channel because I don't own that content. But seeing as how it's my camera filming in all of the videos so far, uh, I, I, I just figure it, it's helpful to post it on both uh, my personal channel and the channel for the park to help raise awareness as much as possible. So without further ado, I'm going to hit the play button on the screen. Now, it's important to note that I might miss a few finite details because the play button on my screen, the play window, is a small window in the preview window of the... Um, recording program that I use, or the editing program that I use, which is PowerDirector 15. I love experimenting with YouTube videos. I literally started this video with absolutely almost zero energy, like 10 energy, and I can already feel it just coming back into me. This is this is gonna be good. There we go. There we go. Now that's Ben doing the commentary there. Try to get all of it. That's uh, me back there with uh, this camera, actually, the one I'm doing the camcording on right now. I'm going to put this video in the top uh, left corner, left left hand corner, because in the right hand corner you'll see that's our address. If you ever want to join us, if you're not already a member of the car, uh, can park, can I fight next? Yeah, you can fight next. All right. Yeah, get in there. <laughs> um, if you ever want to join us, feel free. We are a very inviting community. Also, ooh, he got me in the gut on that one. That was a really hard hit. <laughs> you don't see it because I'm trying to walk it off, but I'm, I'm actually in a pretty good good bit of pain there. <laughs> now, these two are great fighters. That's Torin on the right, and I say Grayskull on the left. I call him Grayskull. I just, it, it got stuck with me. I think he said something like that. And that's always really cool. They have great sportsmanship. We're really big about sportsmanship at the park as well. Now I'm coming right back in there to try to fight against Grayskull, and he's going to beat me too. I think, um, I think total in the last, ooh, 20 minutes of these matches, I only ever win one match. But it's a good one. It might be in the last 10 minutes. I'm going to try to split up these two recordings into two 10 minute segments as opposed to one long 20 minute segment. I also love the music that Ben's got playing. If you're listening to it, that is the $20, which is actually marked down to $14 now. I know Walmart prices. Um, it is the Pop Solo mic. It is it is a nice it is a nice microphone. I want to get one for the Robot Arena two tournaments to give me that good echo, you know. Initiate combat. Yeah, listen to that initiate combat. Go! I love that. That is there great. I can imagine myself being like, and now entering the arena, the next robot in our competition. That just sounds great. I just watched Markiplier's uh, 
live stream of his last charity event. It was amazing. They suffer so much through those, well, through that last charity because of all the different challenges. Uh, they suffered a lot, and I had to honestly ask myself, you know, am I ready? And, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I, I shouldn't even really Jack include that. Get good equipment and learn how to use that equipment. Uh, I hate it, I hate it when Whoa. I prattle on. That was a good hit, good strike. I'll do some more commentary on the matches instead. I just wanted to, you know, give a good bit of detail about stuff I'm doing online for the for the videos and for the channels. All right, we've got Grayskull versus Rollin. Rollin dashes back, just barely gets grazed on the garb. Grace, oh, that's I won one. Okay, oh, I wish I could pause it. Um, Grayskull came in super aggressive. I got a lucky hit when he. Oh yeah. Well, I'm, not used to I'm not used to winning. Yeah, um, he knocked my sword out of the way, and I got a lucky deflection where he sort of deflected my sword into his stomach. It, it was more him than me, honestly. I got lucky. But Cloak puts me down here. I think he gets like a double arm strike. Oh no, right on the back. It's hard to uh, it's hard to commentate on these like I do the Robot Arena two battles because it's hard to hear anything. Maybe I should just turn it down. That way I won't have to pause it. Okay. And we've got Torn versus Cloak. Torn and Cloak steady going in. Torn makes the first strike. Cloak blocks. Cloak coming in with two strikes. One on Torn's arm. Torn is now armed. Torn's got one arm left. He's trying to hook Cloak's sword, but not not against the rules though. He's got the arm strike. Cloak takes the arm. Both both opponents now armed. It's a one arm fight versus one arm fight. Looks like who took that one? I think uh, Torn took it. Uh, oh no, cloaked. Uh, yeah, Torrin took it. Now we've got Torrin versus Grizzle. I didn't. I, I, I hesitated there because I didn't know whether they're calling uh, Grizzle or or he, he goes by so many names. He, he goes by so many names, Chris or Grizzle. Or, it's. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I, I love how he does that. You notice how Grayskull, whenever he starts the initial fight, whenever he s starts up, sometimes he'll tap his foot on the ground. And it's not really a tell. You know, an amateur would think it was a tell, but it's not. Sometimes it's a feint. And he does that on purpose to feint out. See? That's a feint. He didn't actually attack. Didn't attack again. But sometimes he does attack. It's a feint. An amateur would think, oh, that's a tell. He's trying to bait you into attacking. But I never fell f Well, I fell for it the first couple of times. But I noticed that sometimes he doesn't attack. There! He did it again, but this time he attacked. And a low strike, another strike, he got my leg. I'm going to crawl up to him and he just backs up. And he sort of left me. There it goes. Go on. Do the thing. There it is. <laughs> oh, and I love this part. Watch this. I'm going to try to spin around. No, he got the arm. He got the arm. And good sportsmanship again. The second time he does that, I try to whip around and get him. And he pops me right in the backside before I can get him. We're going to do about 10 minutes. The whole recording is about 2 Two uh, 12 minute segments for 22 minutes. I love this hobby. Uh, two really 12 is. minute segments for 22 minutes it total. We're going to cut it into about 10 minute time. segments. Maybe the last minute will be about 12, se uh, se uh, 12 minutes. And, uh, oh, and a strong and strike by Grayskull. Grayskull takes the arm. Down to one arm, Grayskull. Looks like he got Cloak on the leg. Someday Cloak's taking a leg. Uh, I think they're trying to decide now whether or not it was a. Double leg or a body shot, or a leg or a body yes. shot. It's legs are always hard. Uh, legs are always difficult uh, nowadays. Instead of dragging the leg, I'm trying to get it to the point. Oh, he also every time, every now and again, he'll pop the sword up against the ground before a strike too. Um, that could be a feint, or 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 something else. I'm not sure. Now, notice something else that I love about our park that I hope uh, people will notice, and I hope that they enjoy that I take notice of. Um, I really want to get very technical with this when I say that even though everyone you're seeing here is in a ditch style battle, ditch style, no spells, no archery, no potions, no abilities, no commands, just ditch, all melee, but notice the different fighting styles. Yeah. Every almost everyone has a different weapon. Almost everyone has a different fighting style. Almost everyone has a different stance. To have, even though we have small numbers, 
even though we have small numbers, we already have such great diversity within our park. I'm going to look at you when I say that. Great diversity. I am very proud of every one of our members, and I mean every word of that when I say it. Um, the first person that got me into Amp Guard was Mike. He introduced me to Alex. Uh, Alex was kind of like the founder of the park. It's just been a great and wonderful adventure, and I, uh, Grizzle thinks it's his turn. He's like, he's trying to just grizzle on up in now. <laughs> but it's uh, Cloak's turn, I think. Oh, uh, it's just, it's, it's so great. I am so proud of our park. Like, notice how diff everyone, almost everyone has a different weapon, almost everyone has a different style, almost everyone has a different stance, and the very first thing that tipped it off to me was when I watched the playback of this video for the first time before the commentary and I noticed that even though we're all melee we've got an axe wielder and the first thing that just tipped it off to me was watching Grizzle with his samurai stance no samurai longsword and he's got it down to a pack um, I can't I don't know if we've already missed that part but I think there's a part where I try to do it too uh, there's a part where I try to do it too and I, I just can't match him on it. I just can't match him on it. Oh, you say edit that out? He's, he's, he's got it, he's got it down packed. He's just got it. Uh, this is a good match. This might actually be the one where I try to wheel around and pop him, but he gets me on the backside first. There's one where he comes in super fast, and I wasn't expecting it. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, look at that. He comes in super aggressive, and I go up for a block, and he creates an opening by being aggressively like that. He created an opening by attacking in a way that forced me to block in a specific way to make the opening that he wanted, and he got me right on the back, just a quick tap. But, of course, analyzing it afterwards and actually being able to react to it in real time is definitely a difference in ability. I don't, I have the analytics, but I do not have the ability yet. That natural reaction to act instead of react is it's not quite there yet and of course you know in in written in written bleh, in real medieval warfare you don't get a second chance you just get sliced up so it's nice to be able to actually come out here with the look at that I love that BAM right on the ground and then he brings it right back up see the he's doing the feints I love it so when you see those there's slight sometimes openings but if you go for the openings without, you basically have to hit first because he's almost always going to get you. We've got Torn versus Grizzle. I don't know if Grizzle's going to switch to his samurai stance in this one. He might or might not. Okay, this is a, I remember this. This was the long pause. Now, <laughs> in the viewfinder, I actually couldn't tell that they were moving. Oh! I love it. I love it. Dangerously close to his boys. <laughs> I, I love I love Ben's commentary too. It's great. I want to get a, a mic like that for for my videos on the Rust Robo channel. Hey, we've got Torn versus Rollin. Torn's gonna win. I can already tell you. <laughs> Spoiler alert: Torn wins. See, I don't have. I can square off against a, an opponent strategically and and meet them eye to eye and sort of do a chess match. When they come at me aggressively like that, I'm a defensive fighter. I move quickly, but I just don't have that get in and go. And a bar barb needs that. Torn makes a great bar barb specifically because of that aggressive style and also his technical skill. Like, for example, if you have aggressive style but no technical skill to back it up, then you're basically just going head first into getting killed. You can't be aggressive without skill. You need the skill in order to back that up. Now we've got Cloak and Grayskull. I love that. I've never seen anything like this. I, I love that. I love it, Ben. I love it. There it is. See, I even told him I love it. It's great. These two squaring off. Uh, these two squaring off against each other is just epic. The way Cloak changes his stance when he sees. Actually, they both changed their stance. When they saw that the other person was sort of anticipating their first move. You can see a lot of technical skill in that, which 
I know Amp Guard, and uh, I mean not saying that I know Amp Guard like a professional, nice. but I know a lot of videos in Amp Guard might be missing some of that commentary where you talk about the technical skill of someone who notices he's about to anticipate my first move and then changes your stance before me. There it is. Samurai. Look at this. I think it's the first time. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's the first time in this video that, he, that he's actually using it. Look at that stance. Look at that concentration, that poise, ready for that attack. I think he got the leg hit there. Okay, there we go. Cloak, cloak got it. Cloak got it. So it has an opening, but it's not very much. Oh, we've already been we've already been going for 12 minutes. I'm gonna pause and I'll do it right after this fight. No. Nice. Right, there it is. There it is. And pause. Whoo! I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I get so into it. Okay, so I gotta remember. I gotta remember. I'll probably need to write that down. 13 minutes and 11 seconds. But it'll be there uh, whenever I upload the video to YouTube, and then I continue this video from there. I think that'll work. I'm experimenting, by the way. But honestly, if you're seeing this video now and you're not a member of the park, please consider joining. Uh, we'd love to have you there. Uh, where our usual park attendance is somewhere between five to eight members. It's kind of low. Special events, we average about 12. That's not bad for a small park, but every park in Ampgard is going to say the same thing. If you're not growing, you're dying. And we always want more members, and we welcome you there. If you're even slightly interested in garb, weapons, uh, or the amp guard weapons, foam weapons, weapon making, um, the style of fighting, if you're, if you're even slightly interested in any of those type of, of events or, uh, or, um, or content, come visit us. Uh, I, every time I post one of these videos from now on since I learned how to make a title transition, I'm going to put the address right at the top of the uh, videos. If you ever want to come visit us, um, just out loud, 810 Garden Club Drive. Oh, anyway, um, if you're any if you're interested in any of those type of events, come visit us and just ask. Uh, even if you don't uh, want to fight that day, or even if you you're not ready to participate, just uh, come and watch us. Um, see if see if uh, Amp Guard is right for you. Uh, there's a lot of fun events. We do charity events. Um, we do all sorts of good stuff. We do charity events, quests whenever we can. Uh, we use our classes. As, uh, we are we, bleh. we use our classes and abilities as often as possible, and we have a lot of fun out there at our park. So we'd more than welcome you anytime. So until next time, take it easy, my friends.